What's the difference between current and voltage amplification? This question comes from Don in Hungary, and Don writes to me, what's the difference between current and voltage amplification? Why are voltage amplifiers more common? What's the issue with current amplifiers? Why are they not so expanded as the voltage ones? I suppose you also build only voltage amplifiers, and there is a reason behind it, so many thanks for your answer. All the best, Don. Yeah, that's kind of a confusing, well, enough keyboards here, huh? Um, that's kind of, this is, this is octave records. And by the way, if you, if you uh, haven't been keeping up at uh, psaudio.com, you, you, and you keep up with the videos, you may know that uh, finally Octave Records made our first release. Yeah! And it's been selling like hotcakes. Don Grusin, who is a great pianist, a jazz pianist, his, bu his brother Dave Grusin, look, look him up. I mean, Don uh, has played with, oh, I mean, you name it. And, and uh, Don has played with, with them. And he, he crafted this beautiful solo piano piece that Gus and um, uh, some fellows from Telarc we all went up and recorded this wonderful piece of piano. Just gorgeous. One of the best piano recordings you will ever hear entitled Out of Thin Air. And it's available on our website, psaudio.com. Just go to, you know, on products, just go to music and you'll see Octave Records, Out of Thin Air. And our second release is going to be Jessica Carson, who is perhaps the most talented of today's songwriters I have ever heard. And hers will come out, I think, um, oh, what is this month? This is July, so probably uh, August, the very first of August, Jessica Carson's um, uh, uh, temporary Circumstances album will be out. Mm. Brilliant. So finally, Octave Records is going. You know, we got it going. So anyway, go to psaudio.com, look at products, music, and you'll you'll find Octave Records, and you can and you can hear little uh, thirty second snips of it to see if you like it. Uh, people so far have really really liked Don's album, and you're gonna love Jessica's coming up. Oh, oh, yeah. I'll tell you more about it. Okay, so. And here we are in the studio. Um, all amplifiers that amplify small signals into big signals are by necessity voltage amplifiers. Just the way it is. It has to work that way. If you're trying to take a small signal, if you're trying to take the signal out of this keyboard, do any of these even play? I think Gus has to set them up. Nope. All right, but if I, and I have a little tiny signal, and I want to put it over here on the speakers in a big signal, because speakers need, you know, 40 volts, 30 volts worth of signal, big, big signal. Small to big, that's voltage that we are looking at when we say small to big. When I talk real quietly, and the, the amplitude of my voice comes out very softly, that small amplitude is represented, once it goes through a microphone, by a small voltage. And then as I talk louder, the air pressure gets larger, gets bigger, the microphone moves more, <clears throat> its diaphragm moves more, and it puts out a higher voltage. And that's what drives speakers to become louder or softer. Okay, so to do that, we need something that amplifies the voltage, and that's a voltage amplifier, which is why you see almost exclusively voltage amplifiers. Now, to make a speaker work, I need to have power, okay? So voltage isn't enough. Voltage is enough to do some things, like get onto a recorder like to uh, get into a pair of headphones. But if I'm going to move the motors of a speaker, which are coils of wire and magnets, I need something else, power. I need 
voltage and power. Now to do that, I need a current amplifier, which takes the voltage that comes out of my voltage amplifier that has almost no power to it. It's just a, a signal, you know, it's got reasonable impedance out. And I need to turn that into something with power, with wattage. So I need a current amplifier. So when we build a power amplifier, we want to take a small signal, turn it into a very powerful big signal. So we need a voltage amplifier at the beginning and then a current amplifier at the end. One makes the small signal large, the other makes the large signal powerful. And that's how those two things work together. Okay? Hope that answered your question. Thanks. We'll talk to you later. And don't forget to check out Octave Records, psaudio.com. See you there. Bye. Thank you.